Hello friends, welcome to BMH Learning. In this video, I'm gonna discuss about hemagglutination assay, or formerly called as HA test. Let's start with the definition of HA test. It is ability of certain viruses to aggregate RBCs in suspension. We can understand this concept with the principle of HA. Hemagglutinating viruses are the involved viruses. The envelope of these viruses express a glycoprotein called HA or hemagglutinin. Now, the presence of these glycoproteins helps the hemagglutinating viruses to adsorb to the red blood cells. So, in the absence of virus particles, RBCs precipitate by gravity to the bottom of the well, giving rise to a distinct red colored dot in a conical shaped well. While in the presence of virus particles, RBCs clump together as a result of interaction between HA proteins of virus particles and RBC. This interaction leads to a lattice formation. In this case, RBCs are dispersed as a clump, so red dot is not formed. Now we move to the experimental part. First, let's talk about the materials and regions needed to carry out this experiment. Of course, the first thing we need is a micro titter plate. To transfer the chemicals in accurate volume, you must have a well functioning micro pipet. Chemical agents such as phosphate buffer saline, normal saline, and EDTA are required. Then we need a biological agent, the worst RBCs. Most important requirement is a hemagglutinating virus. Now let's talk about the procedure of HA. First we take a micro titter plate. Then we place micro tubes in the tray. The first thing we do is to add 0.5 ml of normal saline to all these wells. After this we add 0.5 ml of sample containing virus to the first well. Then, to make twofold serial dilutions, we transfer 0.5 ml from the first well to the next well, and then to the third well, and then to the fourth well, and so on. Then we add 1% washed RBCs to each well. All the wells are mixed by tapping the plate gently. Then we allow the RBCs to settle down for 30 minutes. The highest dilution at which clumping is observed is regarded as the HA theta of the sample. This was all. Thanks for watching.